What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm here at No Limit Super Gym in Los Angeles with the owner Jack and his wife Wea. Uh, they've been so nice to invite me out here to come check out this gym and let me tell you, it is unlike anything I've ever seen in my fucking life. So what I gotta ask Jack is what even made you come up with this con like how did this all even begin? From dreams. <laughs> dreams. Okay. See, uh, I was just telling him before, like, I've, as you guys know, I've always wanted to open up my own gym. And one of the concepts that I've wanted to do is basically, like, you know, when you go cosmic bowling at night on certain days of the week, they turn the lights off, they got a DJ, they have lights everywhere. I've always wanted that in a gym. And Jack here has done just that. I'll show you guys footage of it later on so you can see what that looks like. But oh my God, he completed that. And wh what even, like, sparked that interest in you? Uh, Miami. I went to Miami and all these new ideas came about and I, you know, when you go out, you know, you have, you know, you dress up, you take care of yourself, you know, you put yeah. yourself together, you feel good when you go out and, and I felt like that should be something you should do on a daily basis and gyms should be something, you know, exciting you should be wanting to do on a daily basis. So I created a space where you would want to dress up for because you know, look at the, you know, look at what it looks like. So you would want to like match, and you know, a lot right, of people right. do. Right, right. It's so, an event that you yeah, go to. It's not so just a boring. Yeah. So automatically, like, you put more effort, and by putting more effort, you get more out of it. By Absolutely. Coming, you know, so it's just, it makes you want to exactly. go to the gym instead of like a driving. Like, oh go. fuck! I gotta go to the gym. Um, how long have you guys been open? I know you guys have a Miami location, yes. and then this location here in Los Angeles. Yeah. When was the first location open? This was the first location it opened in 2017. Okay. Uh, initially, it was a private concept. It was only like VIP. Uh, we were at 350 a month, where we were trying to keep, you know, the numbers low and, you know, just super exclusive. And right. then the idea came to franchise. Now we're in the process of franchising. So okay. we dropped the rates, and now it's 99 dollars a month. Take advantage, guys. It's gonna That's go. That's pretty up. good deal. It's definitely <laughs> worth it for sure. Um, so uh, then you open up your second location in yeah. Miami shortly after. And now, uh, so you said 2017, did you guys run into any problems opening your gym up with the pandemic and all that stuff or maybe issues with the city? No, actually, uh, since I'm a private facility, I was able to like maneuver course, in the gray area. Well, uh, just like Bradley Martin with Zoo Culture, he stayed open too, you know, uh, it's like, I feel like, you know, most of the people that um, were willing to fight against, you know, what was going on in that era, they, you know, they were able to make it happen regardless. Listen, people who are gonna work out, they're gonna work out. People that put in time and effort and energy for years, your whole life, and you're gonna tell them sit on the couch and watch TV, just don't worry about it, they're not. They're not gonna listen. Yeah, people who really not. have put in the time and effort, maybe for a week or two. But. <laughs> <laughs> that was me, I started freaking out. Luckily I was able to find a gym to go to, but yeah, I, I couldn't do that. So I guess the next thing is, what? Do you have, what's your future plans with all this? I want 100 locations in the United States and then we'll go nationwide. I want to go, yeah, we're going to franchise, so there's multiple opportunities coming up for uh, multiple locations That's awesome. in different states. So God so willing, gonna, when that happens, we go nationwide. Then That's awesome. That. So you're going to open it up for other people to own their own No Limit Gym exactly. and be a part of this. That's so bad. I think it's, it's all about you know modernizing the gym concept because it hasn't been done before. The gyms have kind of just been the same since, since right. the 70s. Nothing really evolved. They became gray and black. And then when I made red and black, a lot of gyms became red and black. Exactly. But like, everybody looks the same. So I said, you know, when one day when I was looking at a YouTube video and I was like, is that my gym? And I'm like, hold up. This is time where I must change. When I have to question if it's mine or right. somebody else's, I can't be like, yeah, I can't be like everybody else. So we completely took a left turn and uh, this is our own lane now. That's awesome. Now keep in mind, I know he said modernizing gyms. He's also brought back a lot of classic machines, which I'll show in clips here, and basically refurbished them. Me and him both agree, and a lot of the newer stuff that's coming out, it's kind of worthless, especially when you go to a commercial gym. A lot of the machines and stuff they have there, they're just, I don't know, sorry to say this, but they're kind of trash. And so you're gonna see nothing but top of the line equipment here, even stuff that's been around since the 70s and 80s. It's gonna give you a way better workout than a standard commercial gym ever will. You gotta come check it out. Come down to the No Limit Gym in Los Angeles. If you're in Miami, absolutely check out their gym. Like, it, you're not gonna regret it. And if you live close enough, absolutely get a membership because unfortunately, it's one of the best gyms around. There needs to be more things like this coming out. And like he said, he's gonna be franchising. So if you're interested in that and you're in another area, hit him up. Add No Limit Gym on Instagram. That's I'll post strong. him down below and reach out to him. All right, guys, take care. Take care, guys.